Villa's one of Grange's flagship schemes. It's two and a half thousand houses down in South Hampshire, just on the outskirts of Waterlooville. Grange's approach to beer is relatively unique. It's going to take 15 to 20 years to deliver from start to finish. And we want to create a legacy of the future. We want to create somewhere that someone in 50 years comes back to and says, my God, they did a really good job there. And that involves attention to detail. It's not just the designs of the houses. It's you know everything from public realm. It's the benches, the gullies, the sud system that we've got there. We have a collaborative approach at the site. We need people on board who we work with who really understand what we're trying to deliver. It helps that Carey's understands exactly what Grange is trying to achieve. We started here in March 2013. Granger were a new client to us at the time. It was important that we selected the right team with the right experience to deliver this project. The quality of the work that's been carried out on the bridge has been exceptional. And the high tolerances were really important because it was so critical to get it delivered on time. Through the wet winter of 2013 to 2014, we rephased the works so that we could recover the programme. Fairwood has been a real success in Carey's. The main three aims of the Suds features are to reduce flooding by restricting the runoff rate of the surface water from the developed site. We also aim to improve water quality through the, the sustainable drainage features. And most importantly, I think, for our developer is to create a, a nice environment, so the aesthetics are key. Flexia's Bridges has been chosen for this particular project for its innovation, speed of construction, cost and sustainability. These arches are supplied in one meter piece and straight lift using a crane from the back of the lorry and hence minimizing the health and safety risks on the site. That was very crucial for this project because there was a live school right beside the site and we have to finish the bridge much more quickly. Flexi Arch is a very economical solution and for this particular project it has saved around 15 to 20 percent cost. 17 arch units of 16 meter span were supplied in one meter sections. They were erected less than a day and ready for the backfilling operation which was completed in next two to three days. You don't often find contracts like this where everybody works together as a team to get to an end product. Carries have established a great working relationship over the last two years with the client Granger, one of the best I've come across. The guys that are involved in this job are fully proactive with us. As part of a working relationship, we are constantly looking at areas where we can value engineer. Carries are firmly involved with the local communities and with safety talks at the school that's been built on the project. The challenge to Carey's as principal contractor was to program all the various subcontractors together to make sure that right from the start, the piling through to the construction of the bridge through Maycrete and the cranage, all our own brickies, the guys doing the flint, the drainage, then to excavate and form the meandering river. It's all gelled together. I think what we want to do is try and create something that with that lovely span and that lovely structure and the finishes of the flint blocks really left a bit more of a legacy. That ties in really well to our whole philosophy about what we're trying to do at Beerwood and that village conservation area of the future. bridge it looks a masterpiece it's totally different to anything else you'd think you'd construct it's a great bridge